All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. Uh, the name of the video is uh, My First Black Cookout. Uh, okay, let's go. Um, listen, if you are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Let's check this out, guys. All right, I'm gonna start this one off by saying- All right, he's from the Deep South. And I got a lot of <clears throat> black friends, okay? Most of them got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of like passing a cop on a two lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Oh, bro, don't do that ever in your life. Anyway. About a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I you don't have to hit me in the face with a wet mop? Bro, where did that come from, bro? Like cookouts. So I show up to the cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick -em up truck. <clears throat> my pick -em up truck. I realize the only three white... His lingo is absolutely phenomenal, guys. I would love to know... Um, where he's getting all these, uh, just like off the cuff words from guys, um, unique. Right things at this <clears> cookout <throat> is the salt shaker, the napkin, up truck. and me. What happened? Three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. All right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. All right. Which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway. There's a long table. There are generally a lot of people there, guys. He is not joking. Um, if you are a, a outsider coming in to someone else's uh, random cookout, right, guys, be prepared to encounter at least 57 new people, guys, that you, that you didn't know existed. Where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating that, okay? They bring me over and set <clears> me <throat> down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, they say the blessing, and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. I've never been able to touch the food in my life, guys. Never. <clears throat> Ever. Right? You have your mothers, your cousins, right? You don't touch that shit, bro. All right? Stay away from that table, bro. Don't do it. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded yep, off yep. like this. A little bit of everything with barbecue okay and i'm gonna eat it of course don't get me wrong i don't waste food i'm gonna eat it so as i'm sitting there munching away you know just kind of hopefully he didn't like encounter like a terrible like barbecue situation guys because i've been to one it was abysmal guys i left all the food on the plate guys all right keep in mind kind of getting my bearings about it could be either really crazy good these two ladies walk up absolutely terrible aunties, with two different potato salads okay all right. They say, we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Look for the one that looks the oldest and say it's that one. That's the best one. The best one. All right. So the, the woman who's walking up to you. All right. Keep that in mind. I'm giving you, giving you food for thought here. Look for the one that looks the oldest and then be like, it's this one. This one is really close. But this one is, is just something that touches me. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well. <laughs> oh. I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout, okay? Different so calibers of mayonnaise. I told them that they were just so damn good, both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Now, good answer. Now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate food so coma. much I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great grandmama, the great grandmother, Mama T, what they call it, Mama T. All right. She comes up to me with what looks like a five-pound piece of cherry pie. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. What the hell are meat sweats? All right. Got barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness, and she wants. She's bringing me a five-pound piece of pie. Now, 
I saw. I really do hope that it wasn't five pounds. Friday after next. Right. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw yep. what happened to Craig and Day Day when yep. they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. <laughs> What? So what? as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there. Where did this guy come from, she bro? ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. Right. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian cocosis. Cocosis. Food. A Caucasian cocosis. Come on. And I did just like this right here. Just like this. Cocosis. As soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow, I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stake spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? You were sitting in the wrong seat, bro. That's what happened. Listen, um, I have uh, spent my entire life legitimately uh, never learning spades, okay? I know that it exists. I know that it's there. I know that everyone is very, you know, rough when it comes to that game, okay? They're very aggressive, okay? Um, but you sat in the wrong seat, bro, all right? I'm sorry. You know, don't don't slip into your cocosis again, bro. And now the cards is in front of me, and I got oh, yeah. no idea how to play spades, okay? Me None. neither. Don't worry, I bro. I got no idea. I'm one of those. Right, I'm white. We play go fish and cornhole. All what the fuck? Cornhole? The hell is cornhole, bro? All we did. I'm going to need an explanation on cornhole, bro. We got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right? Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we tossed it at each other. That <laughs> what is that, bro? That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the runaround idea what the hell is going on with this spades game. Hopefully I, he got up and walked away, bro. Don't play that shit. I, realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Oh, no. They asked me, they said, Oh, no, bro. Zach, how many books you got? I mean, they had just explained how many this books to do me you now. Have? I'm talking about just now. All right. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently, that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock 9s hit the top of the table. He is telling no lies. I've got every damn spade that you could possibly have and three other aces. Oh, you cheating, bro. As I survived that round. Oh, you're cheating, bro. I go to get up, and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and says, Hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. He's talking about dice, and don't do it. Say no. Again, bro, you, what type? Listen, I'm going to be honest. Whatever type of barbecue that he had gone, he went to, whatever cookout he, gone, he went to, was in the hood, bro. I feel like whatever he's talking about, right? All of the, the whole scenario so far is without a doubt in the hood, all right? Let's continue, though. About, but I ain't going to piss nobody off. You got to understand, at this point, I am in survival. What type of people are you hanging around, bro? Survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. Okay? Now. I Bubbles? did not know bones meant dice. Yeah, bro. I was leaning more toward dominoes. Please tell me you ain't lose any money, bro. He lost money. Dude. I know he lost money. Let's let's continue. Which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge, but apparently the Elks Lodge bones means dice. I lost thirty six dollars so fast. My three seconds. My fucking head was spinning. Okay, and apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money. And I just put some more down until I ran out of money. Which is fine. Made it through that one. I have no idea what gator means, bro, but I guess it could potentially mean that. I don't know, right? Let's well, let's continue. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, right. I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place. Right. Now, I get to my truck. I put my hand on my truck to go open it, and there's a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like, I didn't piss nobody off. Nothing he made it. Nothing went wrong. I went, 
I made it. Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout is behind me. <laughs> Everybody there is right around my truck. Of course. Of with course Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me and said, hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday. You coming back? And I looked at him. <laughs> of course. Bamboozled on what to say. You want some more of that food, bro. Come Let's up go. With was, you damn right I'm coming back because that's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. Generally. I'm scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> but at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him I said y'all y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice or like or like some uh you want me to go get ice. My little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him. You know so he'll he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. <laughs> what y'all need? He'll feel he he'll feel at home. He has wife beaters and stuff. Wherever he went, bro, you were in the hood. If you didn't know, sir, you definitely uh, were in the was you definitely was in the hood, bro. All right, um, wife beaters. Bones, <laughs> bro, you were listen. They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me, and I, which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. She, oh, wait, bro, listen. This guy's absolutely hilarious, right? Um, the story he just told was, was interesting. It's his first encounter, uh, going to a uh, a black cookout. All right, he went to a black cookout in the hood for sure, but you know, um, <laughs> at least he made it out, right? I guess potentially, yes. He, I'm pretty sure he was gonna be safe anyway. You get what I mean? But um, all right, listen, um, I don't even know if there's any more of this to even ask you to suggest to me, but um, all right, cool, no complaints, right? None. Listen, let me know in the comments. So the next thing I should be doing, right? Potentially from this or another story if you want me to listen to or, or whatever it is guys um, And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right, and listen, you guys all have an amazing day. Okay, and enjoy it thoroughly